name is Emily. Thank you so much for making DIY balloon designs part of your celebration. Here is where we teach you to be the pro. So let's start by making sure that you have everything in your box. It should come with a foil, balloons, a piece of ribbon, uh, some PVC pieces that we're going to build into your stand, a balloon sizer, and depending on which option you chose, you'll either be getting a hand pump or the electric pump. Step one, we are going to inflate the foil balloon. So just a quick warning before you get started, don't fill it up all the way using the pump. Uh, you'll finish filling it up with a straw at the end. So what you're gonna do is find the valve on your foil balloon and you are going to insert your hand pump into the hole on the valve. And blow it up. Now, for time's sake, I'm going to switch over to the other option, which is the electric pump. It does come with an adapter that you just screw on. You put the valve on and blow it up. All right, I'm stopping here to show you you still want wrinkles. Um, if there's no wrinkles, it's definitely going to pop on you. So this is about as good as we want it filled up with the pumps. So then you take your straw and you insert the straw into the valve and you're going to use this to blow it up and you just kind of feel with your hand whenever it gets tight enough to stop. have chosen the four color combination for your column. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is pick out which colors you want to tie together. So here I have the colors blue, red, gold, and white. So I'm going to tie together red and blue and gold and white. Now because I've chosen those colors to tie together, the final pattern of my balloons when they're blown up is going to look something like this, where red and blue are opposite each other and gold and white are opposite each other. So that's something you want to take into account while you're choosing which colors you want to tie together. And those are the colors you tie together for the rest of blowing up the balloon. So I'm going to start with the hand pump. You're going to place your balloon on the hand pump and blow it up approximately 15 times. Then you want to take a minute and using your balloon sizer, check and see if you have it the right size. It should go through easily while touching the sides. This one is just a little too small, so we want to add air. If it had been too big, we would want to release some. Okay, tie it off and set it down. Uh, if you chose the electric pump, then you would, same concept, put it on the nozzle, hold it down, and then check it with the sizer. So for stability's sake, I like to hold them against my body like this. You want to cross your snaps, pull one around, and then you're going to make a circle like that. Pull that one around again, tie it tight, and you're done.
building your quad. So what you're going to do is make sure you have the two opposing colors, hold them up against your body and across. You're going to hold these bottom two securely and twist the top two twice. One. One. Now we just keep building. Step four is tying your ribbon to your foil balloon. Now sometimes with temperature fluctuations, your foil balloon will deflate. If that's the case, take your straw and reinflate it to your desired fullness. Now on your foil balloon, there will be a marker showing you tie ribbon here. So you'll locate that. Most of the time it's on the valve, sometimes it's not. And tie your ribbon to that marker. Step five is building the rest of your column. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna take the ribbon Take your quad, and we're going to insert the ribbon into the middle of your quad. You want to pull it nice and tight, so you can do this by pushing the balloons in and pulling the ribbon out, and then you're going to do an infinity spiral, one and two, around the balloons with the ribbon. it tight all the time. I'm going to do that where we're all standing up straight. And now we're going to move on to the next step. Here's where it can get tricky and you just need to really pay attention. So we're going to show you the spiral pattern. I'm going to show you where it can go wrong. This is where it's wrong, where you can't get your colors to quite match up to make your spiral. All you have to do is flip it over. where all your colors match and then spiral it. And so what we'll do for this is the same thing, ribbon in the middle, pull it tight, Stand up for you nicely, and we're just going to keep on going. Once again, double, triple checking that all your colors to do, which is pretty much stand up on its own, your pattern is still in line, and then we keep going. Step six is building your stand. 
you have a base, two couplings, three posts, and four legs. Take your base and you're going to insert the four legs and the cross piece of the base. And then using the couplings, you're going to attach the post pieces to make one long post. And then you're going to insert that into the top piece of the base. And there you have your stand. Step seven is inserting your stand into your column. So we're going to get the column up here on the table. And you're going to stay, take your stand and put it on top and just kind of move the balloons out of the way and situate the stand in the base of the balloons. Then you're going to take it and you're going to push the base so it's even. done you want to check and make sure that your pattern is in the right order you want to make sure that your balloons are nestled together not on top of each other we want to make sure that they're nice and happy and all together you want to check for any deflated balloons um, if you see any gaps you can just give your column a good shake and that will get rid of any gaps and congratulations, you're a pro.